Belt Tracking and Troubleshooting by Omni Metalcraft. Check that the conveyor structure is level from side to side at different intervals along the entire length of the conveyor. This is done at our manufacturing facility prior to shipping, but due possibly to freight damage, the frame can get twisted. As you can see, this is accomplished easily utilizing a level. After the belt is installed, check the belt tension and wrap. Belt tension should be enough to prevent slippage between the drive pulley and the belt. The tension should also be enough to force the belt to conform to the crown on crowned pulleys and make for a consistent wrap on the diameter of all the other pulleys. Checking shaft placement is simple. By measuring from the end of the frame on one pulley at both sides, and this is also required at both ends, then cross squaring the end pulleys to each other. To cross square, use a small adjustable square, placing the square at the same reference point at each location in order to get an accurate reading. We often find that announcing the measurement is helpful in making both people aware of any adjustments that is required and both dimensions should be the same. Setting the adjustable snubber rollers or idler rollers to zero is the next step. Simply setting both ends of all the snubber rollers to the center of their adjustment is what this is. We like to take a measurement from one location and set them all the same. Checking belt placement on the end pulley is next, making sure that the belt is centered on the pulley between the side frames as seen here. After making sure all people and tools are clear of the belt path, start your conveyor. Watch for the belt to travel towards the side frame one way or the other. This is done by letting it run at least three or more full revolutions. Here we see the belt traveling to the left, and we'll need to make a correction on the snubber roller just before the tail pulley. While the belt is moving, you will need to steer the belt in the corrected direction before it gets to the tail pulley by moving one end of the snubber roller in small increments, remembering that if you over adjust, you'll need to bring it back slightly. Run the conveyor and continue to watch for the belt to travel. If it does not, you're all set. If you're still having trouble, we have a few other items that can be checked. Check to see if the belt lacing is aligned properly. If the lacing is off one or more teeth, you'll need to loosen the belt tension, remove the pin, and reinstall the lacing and pin with the belt lined up across the splice using a straight edge as shown here. If the belt still isn't tracking, you may have to remove the belt itself and roll it out onto the floor. Grasp the belt on one end and drag it in a straight line for 10 to 20 feet. This will help the belt take its actual shape, and it will also allow you to see how much, if any, camber the belt has. Start by cross squaring the belt, making sure the measurements are the same. Then measure along both sides of the belt and compare measurements. Next, stretch a taut string from one end of the belt to the other on both sides, measuring the deviation from the string to the belt. This measurement will then be plugged into the equation shown here to see if the belt manufacturer should be contacted. If the percent of camber exceeds half percent of belt length for polyester belts and one percent of belt length for nylon belts, the belt manufacturer should be contacted. Hopefully this belt tracking and troubleshooting guide has been helpful. If you still have questions, certainly call us at 
358-7000 and talk to your customer service representative for more help. You can also find us on the web at www.omni.com. Thank you.